So if you guys have been watching my other two videos, you'll notice that I am kind of on this train of making security related videos with the Code Racer project that we've been building as a community. And one of the fixes that you could potentially do to make sure that you don't leak information such as email is basically extracting non-sensitive information to its own separate table so that in your code base, you're not doing user queries everywhere. So in Code Racer, we have a users table. If you notice here, we have an email and an email verified. There might be some other things that we could add later that could also be more sensitive, like I don't know, zip code or like address or something. Not that I'm saying that we're gonna do that, but just in case, you know. So what could you potentially do to make sure that information such as email isn't as easily accessible in your backend code? So one approach is you can make another table called like, for example, profile. And we're gonna go ahead and say icon, we'll say user again. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull away any of the data that's not really that important related to a user. Okay, so for example, you could pull away notifications, you could pull away participants. We have this average CPM, average accuracy, top languages, basically all the metadata that's not really related to like next auth or security at all. You could just pull away into a completely separate table. Image might be useful to also have in a profile so that we don't have to like fetch the user information. Name and bio, we could do this. I'll go ahead and say user ID and this is gonna be a string. All right, so this isn't perfect, but overall what I'm trying to say is that like a lot of this information could be stored in a completely separate table so that anywhere in your code base, you can actually search for a particular table to make sure that like stuff isn't being read when it shouldn't be. For example, like, so let's go over to the code base. I'm gonna say prisma.user, okay? Notice that there is quite a lot of different places that we're calling user actions. And if I can actually reduce this to the bare minimum so that there's only like one or two places that we actually need to fetch back information related to email or accounts or sessions, then that would make the system more resilient to potentially leaking uh, sensitive data. All right, so if you have this separate table, some of the information you might ask, well, how do we actually populate that? Like image, right? That's something that comes from next auth when the user first signs up. In next auth, you have the ability to provide callbacks. And what we could do is when the user first signs up for the first time, we could take the image that was passed over from their, you know, GitHub OAuth, and we could just populate that table uh, if it doesn't have that information, right? Additionally with name, and then also anything else that comes over that you want to store in that profile table. Now, a little side change I want to talk about is sometimes you have to consider, is it even worth storing emails at all in your system, right? Do you need their emails? Do you plan on sending out marketing emails or like, updates to users. Maybe you do need their emails so that you can send out critical updates to your users. But ultimately you just have to ask like if the application you're building doesn't have needs to storing any type of like PII or anything, then just don't store it, right? I have no need for having a user's email on this application. So technically I could just go to my next auth and figure out a way to not have to store email at all. In fact, I could probably, at least I'm hoping I could just go here and delete it off of these and depending on the next auth adapter this may just crash this may not but the idea is again don't store stuff unless you really need to okay now there might be some laws somewhere that says like you have to have the email because you need a way to contact your users so i have to go and look that up but that's my idea like don't even store the email if you don't need it anyway this was just a quick little video to kind of give you another perspective of how you can separate data to potentially secure various things yeah, that's about it. So have a good day and happy coding.